The term light worker is something you may have found yourself encountering in your search for personal development. If you've ever wondered if you're a light worker, or even what being a light worker means, I'm going to discuss here some of the strong signs, traits, and characteristics of those who work with the light. Let's begin with exactly what a light worker is. Light workers have an intense connection to the energy of light or source energy, so much so that it affects other people positively because they radiate the essence of that. They generally have a mission to help others, both individually and collectively, and are often known for their ability to heal others in many different ways, to include physical ailments, mental disturbances, and spiritual alignment. Although the overall mission for lightworkers is assisting others in their healing and the raising of their vibration through a deeper connection to source energy, they generally have specific skill sets that they themselves must often fine-tune throughout their lifetime. Through their own journey, they continually absorb more knowledge regarding their unique skill set and growth and naturally pass that along to others. Following are seven strong traits that indicate that you might be a light worker. Number one, light workers experience a high level of empathy, sometimes having difficulty discerning between their own emotions and those that belong to others. If you are sensitive and easily affected by the emotions of others, you are most likely experiencing empathy. This heightened level of empathy also generates large waves of compassion and kindness towards others, leading to such things as rescuing animals or finding yourself using your healing energy for most anyone who comes to you with a hardship. You may also find that other people are naturally drawn to you because of this and tend to become codependent on your higher levels of energy to stabilize their own. Because of this, lightworkers can sometimes want to spend more time alone as this can be draining to their personal energy and or overwhelming. Number two closely relates to this. Lightworkers naturally help and heal others with divine healing energy, sometimes without even knowing it. They are like an antenna that connects with higher energy and joy and then radiates that back out into the world. On the other side of the coin of feeling drained through some of these energy exchanges, especially those that seem to be consistent, Lightworkers can also find themselves feeling energized as these higher energies radiate through them when giving healing assistance to others. They enjoy supporting others through their challenging times, but prefer this in small doses. If you find yourself with these natural healing abilities, you may also have a drive to serve humanity and find yourself in a field of work that relates to service, such as nursing, therapy, spiritual guidance, energy work, or coaching. Number three you've experienced extreme obstacles and hardships in your life. This often occurs in those with the strongest abilities to connect to higher energies. These hardships have a useful purpose in that they prompt a personal journey of moving inward to find the true source of strength. This assists in creating the largest quantum leaps in consciousness and spiritual growth. It is the opportunity to learn to let go of limitation and develop a deep connection with the divine part of you as a being of light occupying a physical form. These obstacles prod you as a means to awaken you to your true self and to reestablish what may have once been a sense of separation from the spiritual essence. The journey back to this essence strengthens the truth of who and what you are, creates higher states of awareness, and develops the enhanced ability to assist others. Number four, you feel as though you are more perceptive than others, especially when you were a child. You are naturally spiritual and seek truth, deeper meanings, and self-mastery. As a naturally spiritual person, you may find yourself also having natural skills and abilities with something that is creative, such as a specific style of art. All of these things come as a result of predominantly living in the light as a spiritual being, which assists in allowing the physical being to reside more in the creative right brain than the analytical left brain. Number five. You feel as though you are different than others and crave connections with those who experience life in the way that you do. Fitting in is not really something you care to do because you feel as though most people don't understand you and your way of thinking. This is because of the deeper spiritual connection that you have that goes beyond what many people experience just yet and they cannot connect to it in a relatable way until they reach that level of growth. It also relates to the knowing that you are here to change old paradigms and structures making the act of trying to fit in obsolete. Spending time alone or with other lightworkers allows for the opportunity to connect more deeply with the light 
and the higher self for more insights and information. Number six, you powerfully feel that there is something more to life, that you have been here before, or that you have been preparing for this for a long while. This feeling continuously reminds you of the work that you are here to do in this now moment for the collective consciousness. Much like the previous point, you are here to assist in breaking down old structures in your own life and the lives of others in order to rebuild new, higher consciousness states and ways of living. Many lightworkers believe that they have been training for this calling for a very long time and call this act transmuting the dark to the light. You may find yourself thinking or knowing that there's more to life than just being born here, living for a time, and then dying. You may also think or believe that there is a much bigger picture and feel yourself to be an intricate part of that. Number seven, you intuitively know that you have a mission in this life to learn to harness your own internal power and assist others to do the same. You are driven by your internal guidance and enjoy self-growth, continuously seeking ways to evolve and become who you know you are meant to be so you can do what you are meant to do. Always tapped into your intuition, you easily sense energy shifts and have probably learned how to navigate them, or at the very least, you are teaching yourself to do so. You know that you have a great ability to realign your energy with your highest potential when you focus on doing that. In essence, lightworkers hold higher energy levels that allow them to move through and transmute lower energy levels for both themselves and others. These signs are a great way to know if you are a lightworker, but you may already know this through your intuition and your ability to tune into yourself to determine if you are spreading light out into the world as a natural state of being. You may find that the word light worker itself helps you remember who you are. It's created to invoke a deep remembrance within you. But even if that term does not resonate with you, spreading your light to others is a beautiful way to keep your vibration high, raise the vibration of those around you, and positively affect the collective consciousness of us all.